Welcome back. So, glad you guys are keeping up with me and that I can be of so much help to you guys during this time. And I hope that doing all this art is really keeping you going because, oh, oh my gosh, how many days is it stuck in the house, guys? At any rate, we've had a lot of really, really nice days where you can go outside and hopefully play and get some exercise. And then we have had some not so nice days where it's just been rainy and yucky and oh my gosh, I'm over it. And so in having all these rainy and not so nice days, I'm at a rainy day project. I mean, why not go outside and play when it's rainy, right? You grab your umbrella, you grab your raincoat. A bunch of my kids have seen me trying to get them in cars. <laughs> Out in the rain. <laughs> it is not always fun. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the walkie talkie dry, because if I don't, then I sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. And this, this basically looks like me on car duty, does it not, friends? Oh my god, just like me. Except this umbrella is much prettier. And this is what we're going to create today. So this is actually much simpler than it looks. Um, and this is one that we can adapt to our little friends. This is one that we can adapt to our older friends and we can just do all kinds of stuff with this. So that's what we're going to do. Now, what I have done is I have combined different media and I have done, uh, markers and colored pencils to color this in and the sky I have left empty and I've colored the ground in a little bit just so we can kind of differentiate the difference between them. I've used patterns to color in the umbrella and you know I colored the little raincoat. As I said that that looks that's about how I feel. <laughs> A lot of teeth out there. My big umbrella, my big raincoat, my big boots, and a little bit of my tiny legs showing when I especially when I got my skirts and my dress on. <laughs> Trying to stay dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our little umbrella. Now, here's what's great is because if this is going to be some of our little guys drawing this, they don't have to sit and draw all these tiny little patterns necessarily inside our different sections of the um, umbrella. And if you notice what I've done is I have taken the colors of Roy G. Bibb and gone right around the umbrella. So. There are many ways to do this. Technically, what you could do is just Roy G. Bivet right around there, and you're still working on a pattern with your little friends and just getting them to try and stay and color inside the lines and draw this picture. Not too shabby, right? And with our older friends, we can get them to try and sit and work on their patterning along with the Roy G. Biv. Now, does it have to be rainbows, Mrs. Mims? No, it does not. Of course not. You could sit and try and work on other color groups. Maybe you want to repeat primary colors over and over. And you want just primary colors in your rain in your umbrella. And then you have to think about how do I get that to work over and over? Red, yellow, blue, and then keep repeating. So then it balances out. How do I do that? Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want your secondary colors in your umbrella. Hmm. Or maybe we're going to start working with monochromatic colors. Maybe you just want different shades of blues or different shades of purples or different shades of greens. What do you want on your umbrella really? So this is how you start taking the things that I teach you and making it personalized for you and your children. Because really, as I sit and I teach these, I know that there's a lot of different students that are sitting there watching. And I know that some of your households have more than one child in them. And some of them are little and some of them are big. And how do I sit there and get all my kids doing one project? That is how you do it. So let's sit here again and take a look at this guy. All right, real simple. 
So I'm going to start with my umbrella. And this umbrella has got eight sections in it. Now, if your umbrella as you draw does not end up with exactly eight sections, is that perfectly fine? Yes, it is. Um, it could end up being just seven. It could end up being six. But mine ended up with eight. That was how I drew it. That was how it worked. And I'm going to start with my drawing. Do you have your pencil ready? Well, do you? Um, my umbrella is going to be somewhat in the upper section of my paper. It is going to be the focus of my paper because it's the one with all the color. It is the one with all the patterns. And so I do want it to be fairly big. My umbrella is about the size of my hand. So use whatever you have to to help you measure and to help you gauge. Uh, this way you're going to know how big to make things so you learn how to focus them. So even if you had to put your own hand down on the paper and even make a little bit of a mark above your finger and just below your hand so you have something to look at as you're drawing, that's fine. I see my little marks, so I know somewhere in the middle I'm going to make my little circle. So this is really what I have on my paper. See my mark for the bottom? There's my little center of my umbrella and my daughter. <laughs> it's like she's falling through the my roof. <laughs> Sorry if you heard that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start, believe it or not, drawing the sections. So I'm going to start drawing my lines. And I give them a little bit of a curve. Whenever I draw on one side, I draw on the other. Them to kind of balance out. Two, three, there's an elephant dancing above my head. I swear to God. So, the, um, apparently whatever song was just on her radio, she really liked. And what I've done is I've kind of, um, curved my different lines, and that's what's giving the umbrella the, um, rounded look. And then I just start connecting them. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I drew my umbrella, it looked really weird. So, yours might too. I had to kind of work on my umbrella a little bit. I'd be like, what is this? It's always when I draw that one side one. I don't know what it is. So, we'll have our little umbrella for the feet popping out. I gotta fix that one section. It drives me crazy. I don't know why. So I just wanna work on that one. Section. This eraser smells funky. I just want to share that with you guys. I know you can't smell it through the computer, but... And then I'm just going to start drawing my little raincoat, which has a little bit of a... And I'm just making stacks of rectangles that are getting smaller. And smaller. Another little set that's smaller yet, except I have shorts, I have legs, and now I'm going to make my boots. And the boots kind of poke out. And you got to have one foot there, and that's it. There you go. 
And so the rest is I'm going to give myself just some ground to stand on. A little puddle. I gave myself a couple of little extra puddles because again, anytime you can add something to your picture, um, it gives a little something extra, some little story added details. And there you go. Um, again, from here, where you take it is kind of up to you. Um, whatever color material you want to use is great. I did the patterns in the um, the marker. So I did that in the marker in the umbrella and then I colored in colored pencils so that the patterns were nice and bright. I did the um, puddles in marker so they were brighter. The rain jacket I did in colored pencil and um, then the rain itself I did in marker so that was a little bit darker and a little bit brighter to see but you know once you have it done this is yours and you can color it any way you'd like to um, I mean you could even go through and paint it if you'd like to and use whatever you have at the house so I hope you like making this little rainy day project and it brings a little bit of sunshine to you and you can add any other little details that you would like to. So there you go, guys. There's your little umbrella project, your rainy day person standing out in the puddles like Mrs. Mims does on her school days that she does so dearly miss right now. And until then, you guys take care of yourself. You like to share your projects or share your ideas with me. You can hit them up below in the comments. And you can also reach me on Twitter at Mrs. Mims, the number one. That is my handle. I would love to hear from you. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Be safe. My friends, I miss you all. I love you. Bye.